Welcome to LikeWise Enterprise. This video provides an overview of how to install and evaluate LikeWise Enterprise. First, let us consider what hardware is required in order to run this evaluation. First, you will need an Active Directory domain and domain controller. Second, you will need a machine running either Windows Server 2003 or Windows Server 2008. This machine will run the Windows management components of LikeWise Enterprise. This machine should have at least two gigabytes of memory and a gigabyte of free disk space. Finally, you need a computer running a supported version of Linux, Red Hat, SUSE, Ubuntu, or other. This diagram shows the various parts of LikeWise Enterprise. In the blue are the Windows components, the administrative tools. In the pink, is the LikeWise agent running on some supported version of Unix, Linux, or Mac OS X. Both the administrative tools and the LikeWise agent will need to interact with an Active Directory domain. This slide breaks out the various Windows administrative tools. Roughly, there's two parts to these. First, the LikeWise Enterprise Console, which are the user interface components provided by LikeWise, and then extensions to the Microsoft Active Directory Users and Computers Console and the Group Policy Management or Group Policy Object Editor consoles. Beyond these administrative pieces, there's also the Enterprise Database and various database utilities that are used to store events forwarded from Linux and other computers running the LikeWise agent. This video we'll go over the steps that are required to install and evaluate LikeWise Enterprise. First, we'll show you how to run the LikeWise Enterprise Windows Tools Installer to install the Windows components. Then, we'll show you how to run the LikeWise Initialization Wizard to prepare Active Directory to contain data for users to log on to Unix machines. Then, we'll show you how to install the LikeWise agent on a Linux computer and join it to Active Directory. At this point, you'll be able to log on to your Linux machine using your AD credentials. We'll show you, however, how to enable additional users and groups to access the Linux computer. Then, we'll show you how to generate reports with the LikeWise Enterprise Console, and we'll show you how to modify group policy for your Linux computers. So let's get started. Here you can see our Windows Server 2003 R2 machine. On this machine, we'll install the likewise Windows components. First thing we do is we insert our CD-ROM containing the likewise Enterprise software. The likewise CD includes an auto run program that comes up with this interface. From here, you can read our documentation, you can view these videos, but the first thing you'll do to install software is to click on the Windows Tools tab and click on either the link for the 32-bit tools or the link for the 64-bit tools. The LikeWise Enterprise Windows Tools Installer will install the LikeWise Windows components. To run it, you should have sufficient privileges to install software on the system as well as sufficient privileges to read and write from Active Directory. If you're a domain administrator, typically this will be enough. So here we're provided with various installation options. For purposes of this demonstration, let's just select all components should be installed. And we click Start, and software installation proceeds. This will launch a series of separate installers to install the various components needed by LikeWise Enterprise. Once all of the installers have completed, let's press Next. At this point, when we press Finish, the Enterprise Console is automatically run by default. When the Enterprise Console runs for the first time and notices that no LikeWise Enterprise data is present in Active Directory, it'll run the LikeWise Enterprise Initialization Wizard. This wizard will guide you through the process of creating your first LikeWise cell, which lets you maintain Unix-related attributes in Active Directory. Let's step through this wizard now. 
First, we're told our domain name so we can verify that we're connected to the right domain. Secondly, we're told that likewise we'll store data in non-schema mode. Likewise can store data in multiple ways, and the way this schema is set up in Active Directory will store data in what we call non-schema mode. Finally, we're asked for a location where a cell should be created. A cell can be created at the top of the domain or in a specific organizational unit. We recommend that it be done in a specific OU, and in this case we have an OU that we've previously created for this purpose called Linux servers. If we wanted to, we could create a new OU within the wizard. Now that we're creating a cell for this OU, we're asked to give some specific defaults for the OU, for the home directory, and for the login shell. And we're also asked if we want to enable our own user account in the cell. This is what lets us log into a Linux machine that's been joined to this organizational unit. Finally, the wizard can create an initial group policy object for that OU, setting some convenient defaults. In this case, we're going to accept all of the defaults, so we click Next. At this point, the wizard is ready to do its work. We press Start, and it goes off and it performs its activities. At the completion of the wizard, we're advised as to what our next steps might be. For example, installing an agent on a Linux machine and joining it to AD, or perhaps enabling additional users and groups in our cell so that they're available to Linux as well. A help page provides more detail on these steps. Uh, finally, we're also given the option of editing the group policy that was just created for that new cell. Let me turn off that option since the existing policy settings are acceptable to me. Now that the wizard is done, we're finally in the Enterprise Console. The Enterprise Console provides a variety of different pages for viewing the status of Likewise Enterprise or for performing administrative operations. If we click on the status node, for example, we can see the state of our domain. We can see that we've got one cell in the domain, and that we're in non-schema mode, and we can see the version of the software that we've installed. Other pages, for example, Diagnostics and Migration, allow us to run other management utilities, like Microsoft Active Directory Users and Computers, and our own cell manager. We'll come back to Enterprise Console later. But now, let's install an agent on a Linux machine.